Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel, thanks for tuning in. Right, today I have got another tackle tip for y'all. It's, um, it's something that uh, some of you might know, some of you might not know, and for the people that don't know, you're probably going to want to try this because it is a really cool little trick that you guys can do that is going to make your bait stand out from the rest. So, what am I talking about? I am talking about these little things right here. So what I've got, they're actually, uh, the Americans call them like worm dips and stuff like that, or worm dies. It's basically just a, a dye that you put on your plastic that uh, changes the colour, basically. So I'm going to run you through a little bit more about each of these and uh, how they're going to help you. So, first up we've got the, the spike it pen. So that is this guy right here. You guys can see that. I've probably got it upside down, actually. Here you go. Have a look at that. So the brand is called Spike It. Um, I think there's there's probably a handful of brands out there. The ones I use are Spike It. Um, it's kind of tricky to get in Australia. Um, not so much. There's always a lot of chartreuse in the dip and glows, some of the pens. I prefer the actual, the dips. Uh, I'll get to that in a second. But what I've got, basically... It's, uh, it's basically just a felt pen. However, this felt pen is not just a normal felt pen. It is specifically for your plastics to do whatever you like. This one um, has got a garlic scent to it, and let me tell you, it is, it is very strong. Whew. It's very strong garlic. The guys that use scent, and I'm guessing that most of you do, you'll know that garlic is... Probably the most potent out of all of the uh, the bait scents that you can get. Literally, I've got a box, oh, that's down there. I've got a box of scents and ranging from mullet and shrimp to nightcrawler and like cricket and stuff like that. The only one I can smell is garlic. It's just, it's phenomenal. So you want to be careful not to get this anywhere. Also with the any of these dyes, you have to be super, super careful. You don't want to get it on your skin. I mean, look, it's not going to kill you if it gets on your skin, but the problem is it's going to stay there for probably about the next week. It is really hard to get this stuff off. So what that means is you definitely don't want to get this on your boat or on your boat carpet. I do believe that there is a, uh, uh, like a, a, a solvent specifically to get this stuff off. I've never had to use it because, um, yeah, I'm pretty careful about using this. So, um, first off, we got the pen. So we'll dive down in a minute and I'll show you both of them and exactly how I like to apply them and how this can change the colour of your lure to your advantage so you catch a couple more fishies. But um, right here I have the, the dip and glow. So this is, this is the one that I prefer. It's a bit easier to use if that's going to focus for you. So again, it's garlic. This is the chartreuse. The pen, the pen was a red colour. This is chartreuse. I prefer, I usually use the chartreuse. Um, it just seems to work well with the colours that I use and the fish species that we find here in the lakes that I fish. But again, it's garlic, so just be so careful with this, especially this one. You can tip it over, it can spill. I've known of a few instances where a few coeys have um, brought these onto their pros boats and uh, yeah, had a little bit of a spill and it's a little bit nasty. So I would probably encourage if you are a co-angler and you're fishing tournaments or going onto other people's boats and stuff, probably stick with the pens. It's a little bit more safe than that. You know, like I secure my, my dips really securely upright so they're not going to fall and knock around. If you guys have a tackle bag and you're moving it around, you could spill it and then it's going to go over, all over someone's carpet and carpet is very, very expensive. So I think if you're maybe a co-angler going on somebody else's boat, stick with the pen. Um, but definitely if you're a pro or you you got your own boat or whatever, the, di the, dips are, the dips are my preferred way. You can dip your plastics, but uh, you can also dip blades as well. I know people that dip blades. Um, I guess you could do uh, a hard body lure. There's no reason why you couldn't. Um, I also know that people and, and some of the Americans that actually like to dip the skirts of their jigs in in this dip too. It just gives it a bit of a bit of a tip 
whatever colour you're using, in this case chartreuse, so you'd have a chartreuse tip on some of your jig colours. So it's um it's a very versatile it's not a bait, it's just a very versatile sort of customization that you can do to your baits that is going to make them stand out a little bit more from the standard out of the packet um, jig, chatterbait, plastic, whatever you're using. It's got to make it a little bit different. So let's dive down and have a look and I'll show you a little bit more and how I like to use the dies. Alright guys, so we've got the dips here. I've got my pen and I've got my uh, the actual dip itself. I've also got two Kitech Easy Shiners in the 3 inch that I'm going to show you exactly how I like to coat my plastic. So we'll start off with the pen. Again, be careful because you don't want to get this on yourself, which is why I've laid the, uh, the paper tail out. I don't want to get it on my little America flag mouse pad. But guys, you don't necessarily want to cover the entire plastic. That's kind of not what you want. Um, I guess you could experiment around and and maybe put a little splash under the gill there to make it look like a bleeding fish or whatnot. But in this case, guys, how I like to use it is I actually just use it on the tails. You know, down south, you sometimes get some fire tail gudgeon or your gudgeon that have your chartreuse tails or the fire tails, obviously, which have the red, hence the fire part. So all I'm doing is matching the hatch, but you can also do this to um, to kind of spark the fish up and, and maybe attract a bite, entice a bite by having a little bit of something else on your lure. So all you're going to want to do guys, and this is, this is kind of why I don't like the pens, they're a little bit more messy, so just coat the tail, it doesn't need to be a lot because this stuff goes on really easily. So you got your tail there and put it on this side too. It doesn't need to be pretty, doesn't need to be perfect, but, put this back on, that guys, is all you're doing. So if I put that on the white background, there you go. So that is going to emulate maybe like a fire tail gudgeon and um, something from down, you know, south, Glenbourne, St. Clair. I'm not saying it doesn't work up in Queensland, but generally I don't use these dips in the Queensland dams, but I have done before in the case of what I was saying before, when the bite gets a little bit tough, something like this can just be enough to kind of spark them up and entice a bite. So, this is the red, and that's in the pen. As you can see, I've already got a little bit on my fingers. This is why the pens are a little bit more messy in terms of not so much getting it on the surroundings, but on your fingers. Yes, the pen is kind of a little bit of a downgrade for that. Now, the dip. I learned the hard, well, I didn't learn the hard way. I was just, I got taught by somebody when I was younger the proper way and the easier way to be able to use this effectively. So, this you have to be super duper careful with and I pray to God I don't knock this over on this video or it's going to be a nightmare. I don't know where to put that. That's kind of, it's freaking me out. So, all I've done, you can see that there's a little bit of residue in the top cap. Guys, that's what you want to dip it in. Don't dip it in that thing. It's going to be too much for the plastic. You're going to get too much on here because all you want to do is dip the tail. So, get the little residue in there. Dip the tail around. Bang. That's it. That is all you want. It's not supposed to be an entire bait sort of covering thing. You just want that little subtle difference on the tail. And um, this exact technique is what I use a lot down at Glenbourne. Uh, sometimes the St. Clair, but generally at Glenbourne with a green pumpkin pepper and the Easy Shiner and the 2 inch from Kitech. And this chartreuse tail dip is exactly it. But as you can see, very subtle, just on the tail, but under the water the UV really reacts with it and it really stands out. So, if I put those together, that is kind of showing you a little bit more of just that subtle presentation, but that's all it needs to be for potentially a fish or a bass in this case, to chomp it up over just a straight coloured plastic. Alright, well how's that? It was nice and quick, super cool, and it's definitely something that you guys are going to want to throw into your arsenal. If you want to stand out from the crowd, you want something a little bit different, if it's a tough day, or uh, for whatever reason you want those fish to react to your lure a little bit better, these guys are the way to go. Dip and Glow, guys check them out, check them out online. 
Fishing Bits have them. You can go to fishingbits.com.au. Fish and Bits definitely stock these. As I said, some colours can be hard to get. The red, the red I've found is quite a tricky, tricky colour to get. Um, that's why I've got it in the pen. I really would have liked it in the uh, in the dip, but pen it is. So head over to fishingbits.com.au, check them out, hit them up over there because they definitely do sell it on their website and in their store. But guys, that's it from me. Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, if it was helpful, make sure you give me the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. That's what it's all about, guys. The more subscribers I can get, it means I can keep on bringing videos like this to you guys. While you're there, jump over to my Facebook and my Instagram. Shoot me a follow over there, and you can guys keep... Whoa, I don't know what I just said. And you guys can keep up to date with what I'm doing over there. Also, I do have TikTok. If y'all want to check out a little bit more what I'm like at home, it's a little bit more fun, a little bit, little bit less fishing and just a little bit more about me. So, guys, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Keegan Painter Fishing all across the board. Shoot me a follow. And again, subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. But guys, get out, catch a few fish. Try the dip and glow. Let me know how you go. Till then, guys, see you next time.